Hello, uh, Dajaha, I was Amy Ingolane. So you can guess where I am today. I'm at Ding Tai Fu, but I'm in Ding Tai Fu in London. I absolutely love Ding Tai Fung. I don't go very often because it's quite expensive in Taiwan, but I wanted to see what it was like in England because everyone's going crazy about it over here, and I wanted to see what's the price like. Um, is it the same as it is in Taiwan, which I'm sure it is. So they place Ding Tai Fung, not in Chinatown, but actually in Covent Garden. So they've actually got two branches now, one's in Selfridges, which is a, a very um, higher class like department store, and there's one in Covent Garden. So I'm in the Covent Garden one today, and Covent Garden is just um, it's just an absolutely beautiful place. It's a very um, like gaudi the di fang in London. I've already seen a queue of people, so I'm going to go into the queue and see if I can uh, get a table. I've come at three o'clock in the afternoon, knowing full well that if I came at twelve o'clock or later on, I would not get a seat. Um, I'm really, really excited because it's been like uh, a while since I've had Taiwanese food, and it's been a long time since I've had Ding Tai Fong, and I'm really excited to see what it's like in my country. So uh, here we go, Ding Tai Fong, London. <laughs> Okay, so I've just put my name on the waiting list. It's going to be half an hour. Half an hour and it's three o'clock on a Thursday afternoon. But it's so cute. They've got this little guy, which they always have in the in Deng Tai Foods in uh, Taiwan. So what I'm going to have today is just the classic Shaolong Bao because I'm by myself. So I think if I have any more, I'll be too full. Um, and also, I think because I'm in England, um, I know that I live in Taiwan, so I can eat Taiwanese food all the time. So um, I'm not going to eat too much uh, because I'm trying to eat as much British food as I can while I'm back here. A lot of things are different. Like, for example, the menu. Um, there's a drinks menu and it is massive. And in the drinks menu, there is so much alcohol. There is white wine, there is red wine, there is champagne. There is just a load of cocktails and drinks, and that is not in Taiwan. I just remember there's like Taiwan peach oil and there's gaoliang and there's tea. Um, so the drinks menu is just totally different. I think it's a little bit different. Um, there's a few little things on there that I hadn't seen in Taiwan, but I might be wrong because um, I don't know, menus are updating all the time. Um, one thing they find interesting was everything was done by QR code. There was no actual come to your table and ordering, and I think a lot of England has done this since COVID. Um, so it was you have to order on an app. Um, so I mean, if you really don't have a phone, they'll come over and order, but they prefer you to order on the app. Um, because of social distancing, things like that, which I thought was quite nice. And the sauce, like the soy sauce and the ginger, they actually pour that for you, whereas in Taiwan they would actually just put that on the table and you pour it yourself. Okay. I recommend you a one-pot soy sauce okay. and three carrots vinegar. Wonderful, thank you. I'm guessing that's because obviously people probably know in Taiwan how to eat it, and um, so that's already poured for you. They'll pour it for you there. I think that's right. Majority of the waiting staff were Asian. I only saw two people that weren't Asian there, which I think was cool, um, and they all talked to Chinese to each other, um, which was really really cool. For the service I got, they were impeccable. The service was absolutely brilliant, um, just as it is in Taiwan. To be fair, though, just as it's been in Taiwan. Lovely. Thank you very much. So the building itself is like really traditional, beautiful, like um, it's the British uh, feel to it, but with a real Asian like uh, like touch to it. And um, so there's some really beautiful Asian like ornaments and things in there. Um, but at the same time, it's a the building itself is very very historic and real British feel. So there's a real mix of Taiwan and England in there. And um, so I just think it's really really nice. Um, so mine came to twenty pound. I only had five little shaolong bao, um, some city doll and a mango juice. Um, so £20 would be this much in Taiwan dollars. Of course it's more expensive, but um, 
I'm happy to pay that because it's abroad. Yeah, the food is just amazing. As it is in Taiwan, it's just there's nothing you could say bad about it. It's just beautiful, so nice, um, just amazing. It seems like it's really, really amazingly popular thing here in London. Um, so it, it's just so nice to see that uh, a Ding Dai Vaughan in London is just absolutely amazing and it's just as popular as it is in Taiwan. such a beautiful surroundings the music the place is really really like um like soothing so you could just tell that it's like really gouty um yeah i feel in taiwan it's really really gouty but here it seemed more gouty i don't know if that makes sense and one thing was cool as well there was no knife and fork there of course the spoons but um you could see lots of people <laughs> struggling with the um <laughs> the chopsticks um and that was me 13 years ago before i came to taiwan um and I think that was really cool because obviously in Taiwan there's the Western restaurants and you'll never see chopsticks really in the Western restaurants. So it should be the same in England in a, a Asian restaurant, Taiwanese restaurant. There should be, you should eat as the Taiwanese would eat. So I really, really like that about it. Of course there's the spoons, but um, everyone in there was using chopsticks or really trying to use chopsticks. I think mean, that's part of the whole experience. I really like that. Because actually a lot of um, Asian restaurants in England just give you a knife and fork. So thank you everyone for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, please remember to like and subscribe. Um, and uh, I hope you, yeah, and just let me know what your thoughts of Ding Tai Fu in London. Have you been before? What do you think? Um, and I had a great experience. So um, if you haven't already, you can come to one of my restaurants. There's one in Shingy, there's one in Dan Show. We sell traditional British food. Um, and also, you can check out www.britchie.com. And also, we're in department stores um, selling scones and traditional British sna uh, snacks, etc. Um, so thank you again and goodbye from Ding Tai Fu in London. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.